you. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm all dressed up for you today with my Fire Island sweatshirt. I like it. You know like what? It. Sometimes when you're working from home, you just got to go cash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Comfortable. Okay. All so your blue shirts are dirty. I wear, I wear a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I haven't done laundry. Can you tell? Okay. Slowing down time. All right. Let me explain why I'm calling this live slowing down time. Uh, when I used to play tennis, I was in leagues. I was a pretty good tennis player for women, like women's uh, level four tennis player singles. I never played doubles because I don't play nice on the court. Like, you know what? Get out of my way. I'm a really fast runner and I don't yeah. want to knock you over when I'm heading for the ball. So get out of my way. Right. Talk about competitive. See me on a tennis court or a pickleball court. However, what it made me realize is when I did coaching with a tennis coach, I was such a fast runner and I'm still a very fast runner for my age. Um, it used to make the ball actually go in slow motion in my eyes. It was the weirdest thing. Like when I would see a ball coming, I'd be already running so fast for it that it looked like the ball was slowing down in my perception of it. And I was able to get there and hit it. And people used to go like, how do you do that? I'm like, I actually slow down time. I used to say that, like I slow down the pace of the ball in my head. And I think it was really just a matter of me moving so fast that that's the way it was perceived by my eyes. Does this make any sense to you whatsoever? I know. I like it. Yeah. Okay. It's a little weird, but that's actually the truth. So now I play pickleball and I don't run as fast, but still at times when trying not to fall and running at 56 years old, <laughs> um, still that ball slows down in my head because I'm running so fast. I'm doing things faster. So it made me think that this was a great topic for Time Management Tuesday, because if you can do things faster or more efficiently, it almost makes time feel like it's slowing down for you and giving you more space to do things, right? Sometimes I do so much from eight o'clock in the morning till noon that I think, oh my God, like look how much I've gotten done. And it's because I've trained myself for certain tasks to do them so fast that it actually frees up time and to use technology to help me do things in a more efficient way. So Does can I ask you something about that? Yes. So on those days when you're getting to noon, you're like, ha, look how much I got done. Is there some sort of pre-work that you did either the night before or right before you sit down to dig in and get it done that sets you up for that success? Okay, yes, there's a couple of things that sets me up for that success. One, we do use Asana and Trello to list out the tasks that have to be done today. So it's already set up for me when I come in the morning, you know, I have my routine. But what's even more important for prep work was that I have trained myself to do certain tasks much faster than I see other people doing them. Part of that is making a decision in advance how long things are going to take me. And this is a trick that not everyone is using. In other words, if I am creating a new course or a new training, I look at the clock, I say I'm giving myself exactly 40 minutes to bang out as much of this as possible. And my brain will adjust and speed up because I've made a decision in advance on how long something's going to take me. Absolutely. Rather than sitting down and going, oh, great, I have a big opening on my calendar. Let me sit down and create this course. Openings are dangerous. Openings are dangerous. Right? And I'm like, okay. like, And I'm not huge on blocking tight, tight periods of time. My point is more making a decision in, in advance. And I, and I give this example for interior designers who I coach all the time. When you're trying to source a sofa for somebody. Do you just go, let me go look for a pretty sofa that's going to fit properly in this person that I know there. And you just go off and you just keep looking and then you're down the rabbit hole. Like if I say to somebody, how long does it take you to source a sofa or for a coach or how long does it take you to create one module of a course? I get an answer. Well, I don't know. It depends. 
What if you actually made a decision to speed your brain up by making a decision in advance on how long something's going to take you in order to slow down time? And that's really a euphemism for if you can speed up how fast it takes you to do things, it feels like time is slowing down because you're getting so much more done in that time period. I'll even apply this to conversations, right? When I pick up the phone for, a, let's say, a professional conversation, I make a decision in advance how long that conversation is going to take. Otherwise, I'm going to be on the phone shooting the breeze for an hour. Yeah. It's weird how it fits in that container that you need, right? Like back in my working days when I was working, when I had a job, I was the head of an accounting department for an interior design company. Um, that like when it came time for month end, I was, I was busy. The rest of the time, not so much, right? Like month end, I was busy and I was like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I told them I was only gonna work 80%, 80% time. I was just as busy at 80% time. I got just as much done in, this, in the same component as I did when I was working full time. Exactly. Well, this is why, okay, so another way of slowing down time is using technology, right? And again, slowing down time is a euphemism for if you can speed up and get more efficient in your tasks by using technology, by making a decision in advance how long something's going to take you, by limiting how many resources you use. Like, let's say you're right, and I'm going to give all different examples. Let's say you're writing a blog and you go searching for information. Okay, I'm going to stop at three sources of information. I'm not going to go to 10 because the minute I let myself go to 10, now I have to read 10 articles and then, well, that was interesting. And now I'm going down this rabbit hole of all the blogs that somebody else wrote. And I'm like, oh, wait, when now one hour, two hour goes by and I didn't even write my blog. But if I say I'm giving myself half an hour to do research on this blog today and I'm giving myself 40 minutes tomorrow to actually then write it. You've made this decision in advance to speed up your process, which makes it feel like you're getting more done in any given time period, which slows down time. I like that. Okay. I like in this too, like, what am I doing for my future self? Like, am I, am I giving her a whole lot of crap to do? Or is she going to look back and go, oh, thanks, Megan. That was so nice of you. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> It's, you know what? I'll tell you, people load up their schedules with a bunch of crap they don't need to do, right? So saying no to something that is on your calendar is saying yes to something else that you could be doing that you want to do. And let's talk about technology also. Let me give you the simplest form. If you're still phone call from a potential client, let me get you on the calendar. Okay, now let me bill you manually and let me send you a follow-up email all that's okay. Everybody starts out that way. But once you get a little bit more sophisticated with technology, you're going to get faster at things like having an online calendar that can bill for you, schedule for you, and then feed it to your email system that says send out a confirmation email, right? So there's all kinds of programs you can use in order to get this done. And it feels intimidating when you first do it. Trust me, I... When I became an online business coach, I didn't know anything about the online world. I was not big on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Pinterest, anything. I literally had zero knowledge of technology and it scared the bejeebies out of me. It was like, how do I even do this? And that's when I hired a coach to teach me how to create an online business. Um, but as you get better at setting how long something's going to take you, your brain's going to accommodate. If you let yourself have two hours to do something, you're going to go right up to that two hours. If you say, I only have 40 minutes, you'll use that 40 minutes and you'll use it effectively and efficiently. Yeah. And if you can then create a, you know, technology that fits into your business model that helps you do things faster, you will slow down time and have more time in your life. So someone's asking which software, please. I'm not sure which software you need. It depends on what you need. But if you're talking about a calendar software, and things like Acuity, I use once, I use uh, Schedule Once, all works to bill, schedule, and then- Yeah, and Calendly, I think they all kind of work the same. Like I use Acuity. Um, you, 
depending on what type of appointment you pick on my calendar, you pay right there. It talks to Stripe. It talks to all of my different calendars because I have different calendars. Me too. And I set up certain appointments for like, I will only take this type of appointment on a Wednesday. So people can only book that type of appointment on a Wednesday. Right. So when you sit down to think about doing a task, do you set a time frame or are you more like, let me just do it whenever I'm done? Oh, la, la. <laughs> are you a la la la? -er? <laughs> <laughs> So what did I say today that actually you think you could implement into your business? It's the, it's the sitting down and having that purpose for the time in those, within those buckets. Um, I am, I am like, I am chronic when it comes to, I'm going to do this in a half hour. I'll say that, but then down goes the rabbit hole and, oh, I don't have anything for another half hour after this. Like I, it's, it's okay this one time. Right. And then at the end of the day, I'm looking at everything that doesn't get done. And I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I look at I stand over. I used to stand over people's shoulders when I had employees in my space and look at how they handled their emails. And I was I swear to God, I was like, give me that mouse and give me the move aside. Right. Because even going through email, if you're like, click, let me read, click, let me read, click. I'm like, hell no. First scan, shift, highlight everything, delete. I go through email like wildfire three times a day, right? In the morning, I delete big chunks and then I just leave what I have to address. I address them if I can in that moment. And then I do it again midday and I do it again at the end of the day. And by Fridays, there is nothing in my inbox usually because I give myself time on Friday to clean up all the leftovers. So efficiencies will slow down, make time feel like it's abundant. Yeah. And I think part of that is also like knowing what you want to do with that free time. Um, Cause there might come, a, there comes a time when you have the free time and you're like, I don't have anything to do. So I guess I'll just get back to work. And it's That's really demoralizing, point. right? It's almost like the profit first of time. Don't put the profits back in your business. Like, Oh, I guess I'll just, oh, I'll just put the profit <laughs> back in my business find something that is for you to do, whether it's a nap, take a 15. I recently adopted, oh, a couple months ago, I recently adopted taking a midday nap. Magical. Oh yeah. Power napping is a beautiful thing. Magical. Not, not everyone can power nap. I can power nap. 15 minutes down. I don't even have to set an alarm. My body wakes up and I am good to go. But here's, here's, you said something so key. When we're so used to living frenetically, which I am completely guilty of, right? Even it started before I even had kids. I was a businesswoman. I was always working 12 hour days. It's go, 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 go. And then I had kids. It's like kids. Okay, go, 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 go. And run a business. Never stop, never stop. And now it's like, huh, if I stop working so much, I actually have to look at my personal life and figure out what I like to do besides work, right? You're so used to for, for people who are used to constantly being frenetic, again, if you give yourself 12 hours to work in a day, you're going to fill it up. If you give yourself eight, you'll do that eight, probably the same amount of work you got done in 12 if you're using efficiencies and speeding yourself up. Yeah. Right? So technology, in order to speed up how fast you do things, so it feels like time is slowing down, it, it makes more abundance. Getting faster at things, giving yourself a time limit. Like I'm only going to let myself have 15 minutes to do this. Same with social media, get on social media, set a timer, 15 minutes, focus. Has somebody give me a great tip about social media. Like when I'm going through and I'm doing my responses and everything, she's like, here's a great song on YouTube. It's six minutes long. It's fun. It's peppy. It's not distracting. Listen to this. When the song's over, you're done with social media. I'm like, oh, and it works really well. Mm, that's a good idea. And what song is that? Do we know? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's, it's the bucket song. It's, um, it's, it's a, it's a, a um, busker out on the street. He's got his bucket drums. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that would be distracting to me, but um, anyway, good rhythm. I will try that. Cause I love that idea. And I think in one of my marketing Mondays, Kim said like, make your social media time fun again. Like, don't look at it like a chore all the time. Make it fun again. So if you have music playing in the background for six minutes and you're doing your social media, I like that. It's making it fun again. Yeah. yeah. Right? So slow down time by speeding up what you do 
and how you do it by using technology and giving yourself a time slot to get it done and your mind will accommodate more times than you can possibly believe, right? I hear people saying, it takes me two hours to do this. I'm like, just try setting an alarm for 45 minutes and see how much you can get done. And they're usually sh shocked because if you know you only have 45 minutes, well, you're putting this thing away and you're going, you know what? I will, I'm turning it around. I'm turning off the volume. I'm not looking because I only have 45 minutes and that will. Yeah, and the thing is not try to do it for your entire day right out of the gate. Like no. pick 45 minutes tomorrow and then 45 minutes the next week. And if you can even if you can do that, you know, a few days in a row, then add another 45 minutes on top of it. Exactly. And you don't want to do like this constantly throughout the day. That pace will kill you. But yeah. it's again looking at how do you go through your email? Are you doing it efficiently? Are you doing it fast? Are you just lollygagging through it, right? When you can speed up certain functions in your day, it will make time feel like it's slowing down because by noon you'll be like, oh my God, I got so much done. Let me go do something for myself or in my personal life or for somebody in my family. So that's the point of today. So hopefully that helps some of you today. It's getting a little hectic for a lot of people in every industry right now. Um, so hopefully this was a little tip that somebody needed to hear. I like okay. it. Okay, all right. So Megan, tell them how to find you and what you can help them with. Oh man, right now I've had a lot of people asking me about hiring um, and I can either help you one-on-one -on -one or I also have a course called Hiring for Profit. You can go over to hiringforprofit.com and actually um, I will have a link for you quite soon, Nancy. I owe you a link. I owe Yay! you a link. You owe me a link. I'll have that for you in a hot second. All right, and put it in the comments. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone, go have a great Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow for Website Wednesday, or maybe it's Wisdom Wednesday. I think I think it's going to be Wisdom Wednesday tomorrow because nice. I think I'm full of wisdom <laughs> sometimes. All right, <laughs> see you next week, Megan. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll see you. Bye, everyone.